Hi, I'm Max Kellerman from HBO Sports. On May 1st, from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, two of this era's truly great fighters, coming off sensational wins, will engage in a real super fight. Floyd Mayweather and Sugar Shane Mosley. But first, right here, right now, they face off. Guys, welcome. Last time I was between the two of you in the ring, things got heated. We're gonna be okay today? Yeah. <laughs> should be good. <laughs> I'm not scared of Shane Mosley. I'm not scared of no fight. We just want to get it on, that's all. I mean, the fans want to see a great fight. Me and, me and Money Midweather, let's get this on. Let's do it. Fight. Well, it's like this. It's, 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 hey, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, hey, wait, wait. All right, that's it. Hold on. Every, Bernard, everybody calm down. Floyd, Floyd. When it got kind of crazy in the ring, I was like, no, nah, I'm not the matchmaker. That's not what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the matchmaker. We, and eventually, I was told him, eventually, we're going to make it happen. It, everything takes time, man. And I'm happy that we're facing each other May 1st. This was a cover from 1999. We're going back 11 years now. Yeah. It says, who is the future of boxing? In this article, the writer, Ted Bodenrader, ends it by saying, one is a surefire hit who's plotting to smash through all boundaries of boxing. The other one is named Sugar Shane Mosley. He picks, Ted Bodenrader predicts that Floyd would be the crossover success. And the fact is, he is the biggest star in boxing. He is the biggest money generator. He has replaced Oscar De La Hoya. Why has it turned out that Floyd is the biggest star in boxing, Shane? He has a, the gift of gab and he, and he uh... You know, if you will, he talks a lot of, a lot of smack. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I have to give it to him. He has been backing it up, and he's been, uh, you know, beating these guys down. But everyone knows you as extremely competitive. How do you really feel about it? No, I'm very competitive. I've been competitive since day one. And that's why I am where I'm at today. That's why I, I won't go anywhere. You know, when, when there's a big challenge, any challenge it is, I'm going to rise to the occasion. I'm going to make sure that... You know, when I get in there, you're going to feel me. You're going to feel every bit of me, and, and that's just me. Come May 1st, he's going to have to make me respect his skills. He's going to have to make me respect it because... Well, the air, the air has been cleared already. The reason why I fought Margarito is because I wanted to be put up there so people know that I'm the best welterweight out there, and that's why I did that. Somebody's going to have to throw me. I'll prove that I'm the best. That's, that's, that's what it. I'm here to Some, do. I'm saying, <laughs> I mean, that's what you're here to try to do. I mean, that's what they are. I mean, that's what you're here to... No disrespect, I but that's what you're here to try to do. Because 40 have tried, and 40 have had, all 40 had a game plan. And, and, and some say, and, and out of the 40, some say, oh, oh, I hit hard. Or oh, I'm super strong. Or oh, I'm fast. Floyd, I want to ask you about that. Right now, you are the biggest star in boxing. How did it feel like in the year 2000 when he was considered the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world? He just beat Oscar, and he was number one pound-for-pound. <laughs> How did you feel that? I'm gonna be honest. I don't read magazines. I don't read books. I don't look at that because I know. Sure. I want to say one thing though. No. You do read a little bit. You do know a little bit. When you first was coming up, I came know, and I came to the locker room and uh, say, you know, I hope you have a good fight and all that stuff. What but, was those words you said to I'm me? I'm saying, but I re I remember. You know what? What was those words I, you said to I'm me? Saying, you said that I think you're a great fighter and I want to be just like you when I get up in the ranks. Well, I, and I, I said, and I, I said, no, and I, I said to you, time, and Shane, I said to you, you already there. Sh you look good. Shane, already. guess what? Shane. I, guess what, Shane? I never want to be like no fighter. Okay. I want to be the first Floyd Mayweather. But I, like I said before, you're going to have to make me respect your fighting skills. I will. You I have to. Floyd, I've heard you, you, I've heard you, you, I've heard you say this. You won't have to. But I will, though. You won't have to, though. Okay. You won't have to show me, baby. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you and everybody else around. You won't have to show them. You won't have to show them. You got to show me. Well, you won't you you, show you, me. You'll find that out. Okay. Guess it, it's it. And you gonna, and, and, like I said before, and I, I, I know you're the, 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 the thing is this, the thing is this, the fighter thing fighter. what I think it is this. I think when you're on the outside and you look, you say, oh, it, that's easy. No, no, I know better than that. I'm too old for that. I know, I know better than that. I know that you, I know you're a great child. You also say that you, you ain't too old now. I'm um, sorry. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not too old for that. I'm not too old now. I'm not too old, I'm not too old for the fight game. Shane, you get tremendous credit and you deserve it for never seeming to duck anyone. Floyd has been criticized at times because the image has been that he's been ducking this guy or that guy. But meanwhile, you've tried everything you could to get Pacquiao in the ring. You agreed to everything he wanted and they wouldn't even talk to you. Floyd is going to fight you. What does that mean about Floyd? You know, I realized one thing. He fights for money. 
You know, he, he fights, so he, you know, he, he wants to be the best. He I'm saying, I want to be the best. I want to be the best, but he want to make sure that the money and the check is in there. So uh, he's going to fight the best guy. Pacquiao didn't fight him. I'm the next best guy with the, the, the biggest paycheck, so he's going to fight me. Floyd, as much as you talk about the business of it, you also just mentioned legacy and how you want to be remembered. Isn't that sometimes at odds with each other? Sometimes the best business move doesn't really help the legacy. How do you do both? It's like, who wants a, a million dollar face but with, with a few dollars in their pocket? People don't know the things that I went through in life. You know, my mother was on drugs. Um, I never had a stable home. You know, my dad been to prison. I want my kids to, to have something. I don't want my kids to have to work for nobody. Nobody. Like I said before, when it's all said and done, belts only collect dust. What did you think about his performance against Margarito? I think I caught the tail end of it because I probably was out somewhere. I probably didn't see the, um, I, 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 actually, I was happy that he won. Because? Because he's a, he's a black American, and I'm a black American, of course. So if I rooted him on, I wanted to see him win. If you caught the tail end of it, you saw him put, he demo Margarito up against the ropes. Were you thinking, Shane looks good, this is a, this is, you know, a potential fight right now, this is my most dangerous opponent? I, I, I probably was retired at that particular time. Shane, how do you beat Floyd Mayweather? You just don't play the same game that he plays. I mean, he gets in there and he razzle-dazzles and pot shots these fighters. And they run in, you know, chin first, uh, trying to bully him and, and do these type of things. But they don't realize that he's been doing that all his life. The only guys I've seen give you problems, Floyd, at all for even a few rounds are the really good defensive fighters. That then he has to figure them out. You've shown the ability to box and to be aggressive. Which I, one is it going to be? My style is is versatile. You know, I can box when I want to. I can punch when I want to. I can you know toe to toe whatever, and that's what makes me difficult. I can hit you with either hand. So you really have to figure out okay. what you're going to do to to get past what I'm going to do. Floyd, do you look at Shane as sort of a special opportunity for you to put that name on the resume? Uh, Shane is, a, I, of course, of course. Who don't want to put Shane Mosley on their resume? Of course. I mean, May 1st, I'm going to be the same Floyd Mayweather. Right. You know, I'm going to bring my best, and I'm pretty sure Shane's going to bring his best, and, um, and I'm going to make it do what it do. May 1st is going to symbolize something. It's going to symbolize Mayweather's first loss. Okay. May first. <laughs> he's a fighter. He's supposed to say that. Yeah. But guess what? There's no blueprint on how to beat me. So, in closing, is there anything you would like to say to Floyd Mayweather? First of all, thanks for for you know doing the fight because they didn't think that fight was gonna happen. <laughs> hey, everybody's acting like they don't want to step in the ring, prove that they're the best. But uh, I see you step forward and you took the fight. So thanks for that and just be ready May first. It's going down. Okay. Anything to say to Shane? Well, man, like I said before, man, I don't duck or dodge nobody. This is what I do. May 1st, same Floyd Mayweather. I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve, so, you know, you'll see May 1st.